brilliant voice, the sense of humour, the one-liners, the capturing the moment, the longevity. Why wouldn't he be in the Hall of Fame? How did you go in our Stars of the Past competition? Better than that, I hope. Look, he popularised the game in some ways because he changed the way commentators went about their work. He created a cult following on a Friday night. Here comes Bunny, wheels around, gathers the football. Oh, oh, oh he's the ball. He's kicked the miracle. <laughs> it was a unique style that he had. It was slightly Americanised in some ways, but it was oh so intelligent and oh so funny. Leading his case like the balcony scene from Romeo and Juliet. The mark has been taken by Empire <laughs> Carey. Carey by nature, Carey by nature. The golden voice, that beautiful voice that never seemed to crack, but when the emotion was there, he could go to another level again. It's a main event in any stadium in the world. Jared is here by Rioli. Rioli can't go with him. Jenna wins the gold medal. He had a sense of humour and a sense of timing that I think is unique. It came up behind him like a librarian. He never heard it. How do you work that out in the heat of the moment? Wilson, like a cork in the ocean over his head. It's, oh, my word! Well, there's a saying, the best ad-libs are well rehearsed, but, and so Dennis obviously had a game plan. But to be able to produce it when the moment arrives is a gift. Goes down towards our foot. Look out! Oh, revolt! Remarkable! They say it's easy to run downhill. Tell that to McIntosh. How, how can you work that out unless you're a genius? He could respond to something that's happening in front of him that he would have had no idea and yet seemingly sum it up perfectly. Fairy tales do come true. You know, when Tom Hawkins is lining up to maybe put another nail in the Hawthorne coffin, how do you get that moment just right? Siren's gone. They've done it again. They've done it again, the cats. How about that? The cat is still on the back. And then you say to yourselves, how did they handle the big occasion? How did the grand final go? When the Western Bulldogs are going to win for the first time and it's your last ever call, how do you handle that? The stadium holds its breath. It's a goal. And the Western suburbs erupt. And to see him almost at his finest, he didn't miss a beat. Every time the game went to another level, he went with it. Pick him from behind. What a mark. And then, I guess, to shake his hand at the end, to embrace and to walk out of that ground knowing that I'd had the privilege of working alongside of him. It was a very emotional day. I want to score to draw. <laughs> you are the best partner <laughs> anyone could have had. The one legacy that he'll leave above all the other things is that one-liner that summed everything up so brilliantly and made us all smile. Going back is black, white and black, black and white. Rocket, he comes away, needed another colour. Timed oh, it brilliantly. Can he no top way! He can't top himself! <laughs> Centimetre perfect. There are a lot of very good commentators. Many that have come before Dennis and there'll be a lot that come after him. But I really believe he's the benchmark. I think of all the people that have called the game, Dennis has created an aura about himself and an excellence that does stand, I think, alone. And uh, for that, he should be very proud.